Picture this, you're an aspiring artist looking to dedicate the summer to your art. Now you're at the University of Iowa, a premier art campus honing your craft under talented faculty in world famous facilities, surrounded by like-minded peers. The Bell & Blank Summer Art Residency. Join the best young artists in the country for an immersive three week summer experience where you'll live and work among fellow creatives. Learn from the remarkable artists at the top ranked school of art and art history to develop your skills in a variety of fields. Dive into workshops, explore new mediums, improve your skills and expand your mind. And it all culminates at the Art and Writing Showcase, a gala event where your art will be exhibited for peers, teachers and the public as you and your fellow residents are the stars of the night. Join us at the Bill and Blank Center's Summer Art Residency. What if you could spend the summer dedicated to writing? Come join the best young writers in the country at the University of Iowa, home to the world-renowned Writers' Workshop. The Bell & Blank Summer Writing Residency. Spend three weeks in a UNESCO city of literature, learning from remarkable faculty. Live and learn with other high school students from around the world who love writing as much as you. Dive into workshops, explore new genres, improve your skills and expand your mind. And it all culminates at the Art and Writing Showcase, a gala event where you and your fellow creatives are the stars of the night, presenting the best of your work for a public audience, all at the most famous writing university in the country. Join us at the Bell & Blank Center's Summer Writing Residency. Welcome to the University of Iowa and the Bell & Blank Center, the Iowa and Midwest Regional Affiliate for the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. My name is Shreya Kuller, and like you, I'm a Scholastic Award winner. I'm also excited to serve as the inaugural Iowa Student Poet Ambassador, but more on that later. Come inside and learn more about the Bell & Blank Center and the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. The Bell & Blank Center has been identifying, recognizing, and supporting talented students for more than three decades. Our backing of students in the creative arts has included serving as the Iowa and Midwest Region at Large affiliates for the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, providing both online and on-campus summer programs in art and writing, and recognizing talented teens through programs like the Iowa Student Poet Ambassador. Shreya is both our inaugural Iowa Student Poet Ambassador and previously a multiple Scholastic Award winner. Here, she is enjoying the art and writing of some of our best scholastic students in our Buxbaum Gallery, located on the fifth floor of the Blank Honor Center. The gallery is updated annually as new winners from the regional competition are announced. Let's hear from some of this year's award-winning poets and see some gold medal artwork from our students. Hell is the abyss of my Coca-Cola bottle, where an inferno swirls hickory, bubbling with the condemnation of God and corn syrup. I gnaw the husk of your teeth, the roseweed neat and pearly, the ramen haylike of your lashes. The glass knocks me hard in the jaw, and I taste your spine, knobby and cheap. Under the table, I loop my ankle around yours. You are an ivory birch twig, stark, braceleted with bicycle scars. I sip your maybes, maybe your neighbor who smokes on his front porch and toits a truck spattered with Confederate flags and go back to your country nocturnes that sour into powdery film, lozenge past expired, slick with cellophane, maybe your ex-girl whose hands are all phalange, who digs her nails into my forearm and eyes me in the glistening bathroom mirror, the nuclear contrast, prim white nails on my soda skin, but maybe me. Maybe the sin of my wanting, the ache of coveting a white boy in a letterman jacket, whose syllables curl edgeless and wicked, whose hands wrap around elephant trunk waists and wetted footballs. Maybe our lips, your crunchy dry land chiseling my knee on Play-Doh. Dirty, heavy, buttery, overkill pink in clandestine desecration. I see so clearly that you love me best with your eyes closed. Maybe. When it ends, I will weep and let your words calcify into bitter resin. Membraned hate, fear, uncertainty, you're going off to college anyway. Coiling around the xylophone keys of my throat, cleaving bone and imprinting skull. 
In the trenches of my cola bottle, I put my hands above my head and I meet your eyes when you plump the trigger. Carbonation and caffeine, you grate your teeth in a grin and a grimace and you shatter maybe from my straw like it's mercy. And when Oppenheimer, Fermi, and Sillard return to the Oval Office, they are celebrated as royalty. The greatest intellectuals of their time showered with praise for creating a future responsible for mass destruction. Beautiful, they call it nuclear fission, tearing the flesh of atoms apart into two halves, only that every other atom in sight will be burnt alive. One hundred thousand obliterated with a snap like a magic trick gone wrong, so focused on making them disappear that they forget how to make them reappear. Those fortunate to keep their flesh on their bones will drink radiation. The hand of U.S. holding the goblet of poison up to their mouths. At least guns give you a rhythm to dance to. A small whistle of hope shooting past your ears. If you see little boy in that game of tag, that's the end. But apparently little boy is not enough. Too young, they say. Not strong enough, they say. So they fatten him up into fat men and try again. 200,000 total dead. 200,000 feel their skin flayed apart, blistering raw flesh, sizzling in fire. The meat's beginning to resemble the butcher's counter. To the ingenious scientists, they see no humans being cooked alive. Only the savage Japanese animals. It's easier that way. It's funny how Albert Einstein was the only one to feel remorse. He gave Sillard that signature, a signature worth 200,000 civilians. Oppenheimer was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. Fermi had a presidential award named in honor of him, and Sillard received the Albert Einstein Award. None of them listen. Wax of ignorance plugged into their ears, deaf to the wailing sirens of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in protest. Here is where I learned the word woman, in the pew next to Leela May and the Rev Dan. The holy word of God opened to fit her hands, underlined and beloved and used, tamer of flesh, my nanny, the first example of a gentle and quiet spirit and not a pushover, oh Jesus. You gave that woman a backbone, a spine, contrary, willful, speak woman, speak. She buys her daughter's new basketball shoes each gray wash November. When she was my age, Iowa girls couldn't play sports. Her voice rings in every VCR tape of the Watermelon Valley High School gym. Shoot the ball, Marcy. Here is where I learned the word woman served by Leela May, sitting at her table clothed in fresh linens and paper plates and sloppy joes, noticing the grooves in her, like a worn wooden floor, tired and tried and true and all that is good and found in the Iowa countryside. If she is not here at this table, she is working, the last one to rest, to cease to eat, Get your elbows off the table, child. She has familiar wandering hands, watering cans and cleaning products. She walks like her dad, Grandpa Willie. She cares for her mom who cannot remember her name. Her knees are callous from praying. Dear Jesus, thy will be done. I learned the word woman watching her. <laughs>
Hi everyone. My name is Christopher Wisniewski, and I am the Executive Director of the Alliance for Young Artists and Writers, which is the nonprofit organization that presents the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards. This is the awards at 99th year, and across the country, nearly 150,000 teens submitted their art and writing to this year's awards. To everyone who's receiving a gold key, silver key, or honorable mention today, congratulations. You're being recognized for your originality, skill, and the emergence of your unique personal voice or vision. This accomplishment is yours, but I also want to acknowledge the teachers who have helped you and supported you along the way, as well as your parents, families, friends, mentors, guidance counselors, and everybody else who's encouraged you to find your voice and express your vision. The awards are only possible because of the work of our regional partners who administer local programs. They're the ones who process entries, arrange expert panels of judges, and pull together celebrations like the one you're experiencing today. The work may seem invisible, but it is essential. Thank you all. I want to express my deepest appreciation to the hardworking staff of the Alliance for Young Artists and Writers. I'd also like to acknowledge the Alliance's many institutional and individual donors who helped to make our work possible, including Scholastic Inc., the M.R. Robinson Fund, New York Life Foundation, Command Companies, the Herb Block Foundation, the New York Times, and Blick Art Materials. For those of you who are still in high school or junior high, I hope that you'll consider entering your art and writing in next year's awards when the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards turn 100. And once more, for everybody who's receiving a gold key, silver key, or honorable mention in the 99th Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, I say congratulations. I'd first like to thank Scholastic for giving me this award. It is like so cool because this is my first ever art competition. And so it was like, when I got the news, it was like, yay. <laughs> With art, I can like really relax and just let my mind just like run. And especially, I, I, I especially like the fact that I can do it by myself. And it's like, I like my alone time a lot. And so that's what I really enjoy about art. So, thank you. On such a memorable day that I will truly look back with a lot of happiness and remembrance, I can certainly say right now that I'm truly just thrilled that my writing has been recognized. This award does mean a lot to me because when I was constructing my stories, I thought of myself, my friends, my family, and the Asian American community. I represented my emotions and brought out my heart to show for the two pieces that I wrote. And when constructing them, I was nearly in an internal war of myself, nearly wondering whether or not to share my story. But I soon realized that these experiences connect everyone in our world and makes us stronger. And we have to push ourselves out of our comfort zone and speak our voice, speak our talent and just speak our soul, whether this be through writing, art, music, and the beauties of the world. And everyone, everyone has these parts of themselves. And that's why I enjoy writing so much. My teachers have helped me so much in this journey to become an artist. They've been such amazing inspirations, role models, and mentors, and I definitely could not be where I am today without their help. Hello, I'm Athena. Thank you so much. I'm honored to have been chosen for this award. The fact that my collection of inner thoughts has been chosen is proof that fleeting feelings also deserve to be written on. I love poetry because you can just box in packages of sensation. You really aren't constrained. You don't need a full narrative, and that is very freeing to me. It makes discussing hard issues like identity, culture, 
and other topics that I haven't even made my mind up on a lot easier because you can just take things one facet at a time. Poetry and this contest have shown me that little slivers of thought are also worthy. Again, thank you. The School of Art and Art History is a top 10 public art school in the U.S. and is another one of our partners. With top rated programs in printmaking and painting and a rich history of faculty and students, including Grant Wood and David Hockney, it's easy to see why we are a destination for students from around the world. Come on into the Visual Arts Building and see what the buzz is all about. The School of Art and Art History plays a major role in the work we do to support our young artists. From the faculty and graduate students that serve as adjudicators, to the artists that you saw earlier in the Zoom breakout sessions, to the amazing facilities we are able to use during our Scholastic Art Residency, we are fortunate to have them as partners. The Summer Art Residency is held right here in the Visual Arts Building and is taught by graduates of the MFA program in art. This year, we adjudicated more than 6,400 pieces of art and writing, with three judges needed for each art submission and two for each piece of writing, this was a monumental task and kept us very busy for the month of January. Among thousands of art and writing pieces submitted this year, only five were selected in Iowa and another five in the Midwest region as the American Visions and American Voices nominees. In addition, gold portfolios represent the very best of art and writing submitted by high school seniors. These are the highest awards given at the regional level and represent the best of the best. My Scholastic Writing Award means a lot to me because it provided an important creative outlet for me that I wouldn't otherwise have gotten. 
I've been pushed to pursue STEM for most of my high school career, so having this creative writing outlet has been really helpful to me and encouraged me to pursue creative writing in higher education. Thank you. I'm honored to accept this award, firstly because I feel like it verifies my growth I've made in learning these skills, but also because it provides greater opportunity for me to continue pursuing my passion. The arts and the art community has provided me with an open space to experiment with so many forms of expression and being more comfortable with who I am and what I find beautiful in this world. Hi, I am extremely grateful and honored by this recognition in writing. Writing gives me a platform to express my thoughts, emotions, feelings, and opinions on paper. This all wouldn't have been possible though if it weren't for my amazing teachers who have taught me all the skill I have. All that skill has led up to me earning this amazing award today. Thank you. And I'm so grateful for this award and the opportunity to share my thoughts today. This award means so much to me because as a senior, this was my last time submitting to Scholastic ever. And so I think that this year, more than any other year, it was really special for me to receive this award. There are countless endless reasons as to why I love writing and why I've been doing it for so long. But I think the first thing that comes to mind is really how unlimited writing is. I also love how writing always builds the strongest communities and I've really created the strongest bonds and the best memories from these writing communities that I've been a part of. I also love how through writing, I can always grapple with these bigger ideas in my life, such as my heritage and my family, because through writing, I have a creative way to explore things that may be more difficult to approach in real life. And of course, writing to me is an emotional outlet, as I think most creative forms are for people, because my thoughts and feelings are always translated onto the page. Really, writing feels like creating something out of myself, even if it isn't something that is created off of my own experiences in my own life. So again, lastly, I just really want to thank you again for this award. The University of Iowa is the first and best academic home for writers in the U.S., and we're pleased that the Department of English is one of our partners. More than 40 Pulitzer Prize winners, seven U.S. Poet Laureates, countless award-winning playwrights, screenwriters, journalists, translators, novelists, and poets, all from right here on this campus. Let's check out the Writers' Workshop and see where the magic happens. The University of Iowa is internationally known as THE Writing University. The English department has partnered with us providing adjudicators, the writers you saw earlier in the Zoom breakout sessions, and graduates of the famed Writers' Workshop who serve as faculty in our Summer Writing Residency. If you attend the Summer Writing Residency, you'll see that in Iowa City, a UNESCO City of Literature, writers are recognized as celebrities. Students who received special awards, including Visions, Voices, Best of Grade, and Grant Wood Awards, will be given scholarships to attend the Summer Art or Summer Writing Residency, or the Workshop for Young Writers. Once again this year, we selected Best of Grade winners in both Iowa and the Midwest Art and Writing. In addition, three art pieces were selected from Iowa Award winners to be recognized as Grant Wood Legacy Prize winners.
the point of life. Winning a Gold Key and Best in Grade Award in this year's Scholastic Art and Writing Competition means a lot to me. To me, art is a wonderful form of self-expression, and I know that sounds so cliche, but there's something about visual art that I find conveys emotions much more deeply than words. It's so cathartic to spend hours and hours on a piece of art and, you know, build the colors and proportions to end up with a beautiful, meaningful piece. So yeah, that's why I do art and that's why I encourage others to do so as well. I enjoy creative writing because it gives me the freedom to express my opinions and write creatively without having to follow a certain outline. My language and literature teachers made it so that I was able to develop as a writer. In sixth grade, I had one teacher, Mr. Gector, who always had writing prompts in the beginning of class. And since I did online school at that time, I kept my responses to the writing prompts in a Google Doc. If it hadn't been for that one teacher, I wouldn't have realized how fun creative writing was. I'm very grateful that this program celebrates creative writing and that I was able to receive an award from it. Thank you for listening. This award means so much to me and it's an honor to have received it and it just shows how all the time and effort spent practicing drawing, figure drawing, and putting in the hours, putting in the work to get better and increase my ability to draw has been really worth it in the end and really has done something valuable and has meant something to someone even if those are um, judges on a panel. So I write poetry and a lot of things I write about are political issues, being Asian American and growing up Asian American in an American suburb and also just about growing up in general and like coming of age and things like that. It reflects me as a person which is why this award means so much to me because when people are able to recognize what I write, that also means they recognize me as a person. And I feel like my personal experiences and my opinions matter. That's really important to me. So the person who inspired me to write was actually my fourth and fifth grade teacher, Mr. Horner. Uh, he taught me how to write my first poem. He taught me how to write a simile, a metaphor, and all the things like that. And the most important, important thing he did was praise me for my writing and tell me to keep writing and making me feel comfortable with my own voice, with my own voice and my own writing voice that allowed me to grow as a writer and that inspired me to write more, knowing that my writing was something that he cared about and something that other people might care about. So overall, thank you for this award. Thank, the, thank you for the Scholastic organization. Um, I'm really happy for this award. So just thank you.